Hello Internet, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com. Thanks for watching this video. As the title probably suggests, today I'm going to be sort of reviewing a game, kind of previewing a game as well. It's called GLTron. It's cross-platform Windows, Linux, and um, Mac. Uh, it's also available in the Ubuntu Software Center and also available as a deb.deb uh, download. So first, before we get started, I'm really sorry that we haven't been making YouTube videos in a while. Uh, as you guys may know, if you're following me on Twitter, over at twitter.com slash thatnickjones, you probably have noticed that I am building a new computer, and that build is hopefully going to be able to be done before uh, the end of this week. Uh, probably not, though, because I'm heading out to Orlando to watch the Alabama game on Wednesday. Very early on Wednesday, here's my Twitter account, twitter.com slash thatnickjones, if you would like to follow. Whoa, hello. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into this review. So uh, we'll jump over here, if you're on Ubuntu, it's going to be filed under the games menu. And it, as you can see, it's called GL Tron, and it says play a Tron-like light cycle game. And GL is referring to the open source standard for um, graphics processing, so like OpenGL or whatever. Um, so that's why it's named that. But uh, there's been a lot of people talking about this because of the game, or the movie Tron, the newest movie Tron. Uh, let me turn this down here. So there we go. Uh, but a lot of people have been talking about this game because of the recent uh, Disney film, the remake of Tron. Actually, it's I guess it's the second movie in the Tron series. I went and saw it. Jacob also reviewed it on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash pbcasttv. If you would like to check that out so let's get started so you just hit enter to enter a game uh, you can customize in things you know change your color light cycle or whatever and we'll just hit start game by hitting enter um, it's kind of odd because the controls are actually a and s but I, I think I've changed them on this computer to be the directional keys so if we hit yeah no actually they're still a and s how about I go in here and turn off the audio so you guys can hear me? Off. There we go. Alright, so the object of this game is to, well, how you win is you have to be the last person standing on the grid. And this makes complete sense if you've seen the movie Tron. So what you try to do, you try to eliminate the other light cycles by making them hit your light beam. I don't really know what you would call it. So as you can see, I just lost because he curved in front of me. And uh, the object is to not get killed, of course, but also, um, you know, not uh, get hit by the light beam. So I like to circle around some guys. So if they try to come back in the same uh, way or fashion or whatever that they made their little light thing, um, see, he just killed me. Uh, and you're, you're, once you die, once you kill somebody, their light, um, I don't know what to call it, their light beam or whatever, disappears so you can move freely on the grid. It's a really fun game. It's kind of hard to play while I'm talking to you guys because it does take a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say twitching, but, you know, not not twitching, that's a weird. Anyway, but, uh, you know, fast gameplay and you have to be alert. Um, so let's see if I can win this one here. I probably won't because I'm kind of on the outside right now. But as you can see, people, uh, you can try to curve and hit each other's light, si uh, light cycles. Um, as you can see, that guy's uh, lights, light um, beam just kind of went away. So now it's just me and player three. No. I don't know what player this is, but the red um, guy is the last person left. And um, if you get caught on the outside, that's all right, because you can just try to outlast him. But it's more fun being on the inside, uh, but he's kind of blocked me off here. Let's see if I can find another entry point. And, uh, you know, it's a really cool game, really fun game. Uh, if you've seen the movie Tron, which I would recommend, especially if you like tech technology or anything like that, uh, you would probably love the movie Tron because it's really hacker-based and things, and it's just a really fun thing. And I saw it in 3D. Uh, it wasn't that impressive in 3D, but yet uh, it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't a poorly made 3D movie. Um, so, anyway, the grid looks really nice in 3D. Uh, so, as you can see, this is kind of a time waster. And I uh, almost crashed there, not figuring out what I was going to do. Uh, but anyway, I think you guys get the idea. You can go to the sub bar below, 
and I just won. You can go to the sub bar below this video to find out where to download this. Like I said, it's in the Ubuntu Software Center. That's where I downloaded mine from. I also te uh, tested this on a Windows install, and it works great. It actually goes full screen in Windows. I don't know why it doesn't on Linux. You can also head over to twitter.com slash pbcasttv. Um, uh, that's where you can find whenever we post a new YouTube video, or really whenever we do anything. As you can see here, that was the last post that we, uh, last PB at night episode that we did. Also, you can check out pbcasttv.com. That's where we're streaming live 24-7 over here on the live page at live.pbcasttv.com. So until next time, guys, I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.